Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. So today we are going to learn about how to implement Google Sheet in Node.js. Before, those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So you can see that where we have the Google Sheet form and here we have added the data from the form. So I will show you what exactly it is. So here we go with the local host and uh, where we have the port i guess it's the port should be 5000 or something let me check it is the port number 305 okay so localhost 3005 we have opened now booking google sheet form so here we have putting out the like uh, testing user okay email address test or something millinator okay phone number we can add any of the phone number right and here we have to add the selected date and here there is also a date okay then submit now we have to check out this by the google sheet so here we have the google sheet right now to just copy this and uh, i'm going to just open it up and here you can see that the data which i am adding it's coming out here it is written over here okay you can see that so how we are going to do that functionality into our node.js application so let's look out this one okay so here we have the code so this is the full-fledged code level okay where we have written all the logic over here so first of all we have the google sheet dot js we don't require it only just app dot js and forget about it okay so here we have the dot env for the configurations but i'm not using it but you have to use it because private key and the client email and all the details like spreadsheet ID we have required. So it's better that it coming from the env file. Okay. So, so how we are going to this client email, private key and all. So first of all, we have to go with the Google cloud. So here we have the Google cloud. Okay. So I have how we are going to get the email ID and all like client email and the public private key here, whatever the data we have used over here, you can see that that is private key client email and the sheet id so we required it okay so let's see how we are going to implement so first of all we have to go with the google cloud google developer console we have to go okay so login whatever account is suitable so here you need to switch the account i'm going to switch my account okay so here we have the only I have the last project to create. Okay, so you have to go and create a project. This is the last, I guess. There's one project remaining into your quota. So here we are going to Google Sheet. Google Sheet project. Google Sheet project. Okay, and create this project. Then we have to enable the services. Okay, select project. So we have select the project. Right, then we have to go with the API and services. So here API and services enabled, so enable services. So here we have the Google sheet. So enable it. Okay, click on that. Just enable. So this API is enabled, I guess here it's loading. So it's enabled, right? Enabled. Okay. Then we have to go with the credentials, create credentials. If I create a new credentials, previous one going to be deleted might be, but go to the service account over here. Then here we have to mention the service account, like Google sheet, data, something. Okay then we have to just cre uh, create and continue then if you have you want to assign the role you can do otherwise rest of the is optional continue and then done okay now you can see that the new user new user is created we have to give the ss to the google sheet right now just copy this ss and uh, here go to the share 
and assess this Google Sheet. Okay. Send. Okay. This this is this account is now accessible. Now we have to create the details like email and all. Go to the edit or manage service accounts. So currently we have the project like this. So we have to go with the edit actions, manage keys. So here we have to add the keys, create new keys, JSON, create. So it's download. So here you can see that the, we have the client email and we have a private key and uh, Google Sheet ID. The rest of the part is Google Sheet ID and the Google Sheet ID we are coming from this one. So this ID after D we have this ID. Okay, you are seeing this, this ID. Before edit, this is your Google Sheet ID. Okay, so just go and just paste it over here a spreadsheet id rest of the data i have showed you where you have to get right okay so here is the scopes that we have google api auth spreadsheets right and client email and private key we are already putting over here okay so first dot env google api you have to install the package google apis express express egs layouts node fetch and view engine we are setting it default that is egs right and the data we are sending in the form of the what uh, like the for formula URL code. Okay, whether it's to be a form URL encoded or application JSON depends up to you. You can use the body parts accordingly, right? Then we have the we have to set the routes. So these are the credentials we have to put in up and then we have a function that is assess Google Sheets. Okay, so we have to assess the Google Sheet first. So here, this is a function that new Google auth, auth sheet and here we have to pass the credentials and the scopes. Okay, then we have to wait auth get client. Okay, Google Sheets version v4 we are using. Okay, then first function is that read sheet. Okay, so when we click on the save button. So here we have the sheet, right? So here is the code, right? So go to the home part. So when we come to this form, then we have the route that is save. When you click on this submit button, this function calls. So what it accepts that is username, email, phone, form data and this. Then we are passing that data into the right sheet. And this where is the right sheet? This is the right sheet where we have the values, right? So this pattern, the value should be like username, phone, email, or whether it's to array should be the multiple. If I go and just copy this, the same one and with adding the comma, so multiple details with the two names should be added. Okay, so it should be multiple, depends upon you. Okay, so this is, we have added, right? Okay, then we have a resource we have to pass, okay? And sheet.spreadsheet.values.update. Then it's calling the function that it should update that sheet. Okay, whether, it's to, whether you want to add or something, you can do that functionality also. Okay, so spreadsheet ID, range you have to put value input user entered and the resource we have to pass okay and then it will console.log the cells have been updated so basically i'm doing the updation you can also i need to check the function that can add also so i will check also that one also okay then read sheet so here we have the read sheet that we are reading this on the behalf of spreadsheet id and the range and console that data on the on the behalf of it okay so this is how we are able to write the data into the sheet. Okay, so SS Google Sheet function that we have already calling at the last. Okay, when the save button is done. So you can see that. Okay, so this, this is the full-fledged code. Rest that is the views that we have the layout. Okay, so we have the layout like this is the CDN part that we are using. Layout part, then we have a dashboard where we have the username email address, phone number, and the rest form data and the to date. Okay, so this is the form. Then we have a success where we have written down the successfully saved when the data is saved. And um, this is the text that we are adding and the go to home. Okay, so this is how we are able to add the data into the Google Sheets. Okay, any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.